everyone. Today I'm going to be trying out some new watercolors that I got for Christmas, so let's get to it. All right, so this paint that I'm going to be testing out is from uh, Beam Paints. They are uh, actually a, an indigenous um, female-run business um, from Canada, I think. This woman, she was really fascinated by creating paints and pigments in a sort of traditional, um, using traditional indigenous methods, methods that like the Native Americans used. And so she kind of learned that, I think, I think she learned that from her parents. Anyway, she learned that and has basically built a business out of it. Um, and so I thought that was super cool and wanted uh, to try that out. So John very kindly got me some for Christmas and it took a while to get here because of, you know, shipping stuff. But it's here now. I, I did already open it off camera, so sorry. Um, but I wanted to kind of show you all what I got and then do like some tests with it. So this is part of the packaging it came in. And then it has this cool little um, paintbrush that actually kind of it's this is a little mini travel kit they have a bunch of different kinds of um different kinds of paint different paint sets this is a, a, like a little travel um one of their little travel kits so it comes with this cool little brush that you can kind of put in get take in and put out it's all metal uh the other cool thing about this company is that they strive to be kind of like plastic free and environmentally friendly this my set came wrapped up in this um this it's this pay or it's, this is a piece of like canvas fabric that's been coated in beeswax, which is super cool. And then the actual paints themselves. Doo -doo -doo -doo, oh, isn't that so pretty? Um, there. So there are these. Um, these are this is their Northern Rivers collection, and John got it for me because you know it's blue and I love blue. And this particular one comes in this awesome shell part of what I love about it. And I think it came with a little bit of sage too, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But I think it's a cool touch. So I'm excited to try these out and like see how the paint handles. All right, so let's put this here. Yeah, we'll do it like that, okay. Got my little uh, paper towel off camera and my little uh, cup of water <laughs> in my yogurt container. I actually usually use water brush pens, but I wanted to test the brush that came with the paints. So I think first I'm going to just like swatch the colors to see. I learned that term from uh, YouTubers. I never knew I'd known about it before, but then I watched a bunch of art YouTube artists be like, I'm going to swatch these colors. And I was like, oh, so fancy. So this is the first time I've used them and it's pretty fun to use something that you know was like made by hand using traditional methods rather than like manufactured in a factory. So that's this kind of lighter blue. And we've got this sort of ultramarine here. So the brush is really nice too. It's very delicate. I actually learned about these paints from this YouTube artist uh, named uh, Casey Golden. Um, I watched one of her videos. Oh, wow, that one came in really dark. I think I got a lot of pigment on that one. Um, and she reviewed a bunch of like handmade art supplies um, from like like small local businesses. And I thought it was such a cool idea that I wanted to I wanted to try some of these products as well. And she had like good success with this one, so I thought, well, this would be kind of a cool place to uh, start. So, anyway, here are all four of the colors. Um, part of me wonders if I should mix them on the shell, but I kind of don't want to. I feel like I'm going to keep the shell looking pretty. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do now is try and kind of paint some stuff. Um, and we'll see if I totally blank or coming up with ideas. I feel like since it's called Northern River, we really need to do something that is, um watery. I was thinking something involving fish. I feel like that would be good. Hmm. Or even like a mountain scene. That could be cool, right? Um, let's see. This is going to be really dark. Oh yeah. Oh boy.
I might just throw color down and be like, see what happens. <laughs> because, yeah. Right, this is kind of blending in a little bit. Be cool. Let's try. I kind of want to try something like that. Little mountain. Little mountain vision's going on here in the back. How dark is this? Oh, pretty dark. How does this, but some of them I feel like are more opaque than others. Like this one right here, I feel like is um, more of an opaque paint uh, versus this one I'm using right here, which it seems to be a little more translucent when I'm putting it down. Whoa, that was really dark. Whoa, maybe I just didn't have this enough, enough pigment in it. Kind of cool though. I don't even, I cannot make any promises about how good any of this will be, but maybe I should stop making any excuses and just, you know, paint. Kind of a little, little mountain scene. Little, uh, probably should look at references but I thought about that like I do feel like it's really important to use references when you're making art but I also feel like there are sometimes it's just nice to not because sometimes when you're using references you get a little too stressed about like following it perfectly and sometimes I kind of am in the mood to just kind of mess around with the colors whether it ends up looking good or not um kind of like now I feel like a little bit of this in here. Um, oh, yeah, that's a lot more. See, maybe my problem is I didn't get them as opaque as I could have. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so, so I feel like reference is really good and you definitely should use it. But there are definitely times when you feel like if you want to just depart from reference and just kind of go with what's in your head, I think that's okay too. I feel like it's good to just kind of. I don't know, just have fun. There are some times when it's good to push yourself with art, and there's other times when it's good to just have fun with it. All right, I'm gonna make some fish now. And my problem is that I tend to sort of push so much that I don't remember to just have fun. All right, fishy fish. Of course, inevitably, this probably means my stuff won't look as good as when I do reference, especially if I'm not as familiar. I don't draw a whole lot of fish, so these fish might look really dirty. But, eh, that's okay. Oh, hi, Koji. I don't know if you can hear that, but Koji just, Koji might be just meow at me. Are you going to come visit? Fish has an extremely long tail. I told you. He's on the table now. All right, no, don't, don't, don't drink that. No, <laughs> he's trying to drink my paint water. Koji, no. You gonna sniff it? Koji, your first appearance on the internet. Well, maybe you're, no, don't eat my paint. I know it's made with natural ingredients, but it doesn't mean you're allowed to eat it. Yeah, I definitely feel like you can get these more opaque than I've been getting them. I told you. No, Koji, don't, no, no, no. 
He's trying to drink the water again. Okay. I think he's moved on to a better opportunity. I love having cats, but they can make life a little difficult at times. Wouldn't have it any other way, though. So yeah, just kind of messing around. I don't know that any of this is going to be like, I don't know. This might not be the best art I can make, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. I just kind of want to, kind of want to just try this out and see. I do like this paint though. It'd be interesting to see sort of how it does not even look like a fish. It's cool, but does it look like a fish? I'm gonna need the tail a little more. Fish like move this a little more. Fish like I don't know, maybe that doesn't, maybe that works better. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, they should get out of it. They should get out of it. Oop. Actually, really won't be able to see the other eyeballs. Maybe I'll do this. There we go. My dirty little fish. So nice though, I really do like this. I really do like this color. I kind of want to mess around with just blending in a little bit more in the corners. What happens in there? Can I clear that in? These are, um, these paints are advertised as being light fast and um, artist quality, which basically means they aren't supposed to disintegrate when if exposed to a lot of light or like basically they're high they're qu like quality paints that won't break down which is good because that is always like a concern when you're making art that you have you know some art it's okay if you're not if the quality material isn't the best but <laughs> it is kind of nice to know that your stuff is more archival so this wonderful masterpiece will hopefully last the test of time because the paint is good can't exactly vouch for my skills in this moment, but at least it won't, you know. <laughs> the paint has nothing to do with that. Having good paint doesn't always mean that you're uh, the best at making art. But at the same time, there's always room to improve, and it's nice to be able to have good uh, stuff to work with. So it's just kind of everything all blended together. It looks a little weird, but I don't know. I kind of like it. A little more room. I don't want to fill the page too much though. Oh, you know what I should do? Okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna try and get a little a super deleted version of this. I feel like this would make a good. I guess. Put some clouds on here. Over here. 
my hands not too much in the way. It's so funny using a brush and water. I haven't done that in so long because I usually use... I'll have to show the water brush sometime. I use it all the time. It's so useful because it has a little um, compartment for water in it. Like... In, in part of the handle. And so you just never have to carry water in a cup anymore when you have that. And it's super useful for, um, that's really dark there. It's super useful if you're, um, like on the go or you don't want your water to spill or if you're just lazy and don't want to, uh, be bothered to, like, refill your water. Okay, I think I actually really like that. That looks kind of cool. The clouds are in there. Let's see what my picture may be. Okay, alright, I like that. That's cool. Alright, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, I will, I guess, I will give you a little doot 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 thing over there. And, and if anyone is interested in checking these out, I will find the um, website for this company and I will put it in the link in the description of this video. Uh, till then, I will, I'll see you next time. Bye!